Hey guys, um, I got, I heard this joke that my friend told me on Wednesday. I just have to tell you guys, it's a great joke. I sure was hell surprised with the joke. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, in 8th grade, there's this kid named Tim. Straight A student. He's popular. Everybody loves him. He's just an all-around great kid. He does sports. He does soccer, track, tennis. He's just a great student. And then, um, the final test of the year comes up. He's like, Dad... I don't think I'm going to do this test. I, I don't think I can do it. I don't have motivation. I don't think I can do it. And his dad was like, all right, listen. I know you're a bright, bright student. With every A you get, I will get you something. What do you want? And Tim said, well, I was in this sports store with my friend, and I saw these limited edition pink tennis balls. And he was like, there you go. I'll get them for you. I'll get them for you. Every A, I'll get you uh, a tennis ball. And he said, fair enough. Tim did fantastic on the test. He got an A. And when he came home, he had a tube full of tennis balls. And he put it right on his nightstand, right next to him, before he go to bed. He would always clean them, take care of them. And he would just, just take really good care of them. And then uh, summer came around, and he joined a so uh, soccer camp to... Uh, Help him out because he wanted to become a good soccer player. He kind of drifted off of tennis and he wanted to become a great soccer player. And then he met this girl at the soccer camp. And they started coming together. They started dating and stuff like that. And then ninth grade comes in. He's in high school now. And he gets through most, He gets through his whole entire first... Uh, he gets done his first half of his uh, year. He gets like A's, B's, stuff like that. And then his finals come up, and he's like, Dad, I'm freaking out. I mean, eighth grade was easy, but this, I, I don't think I can do it. I, I don't think I'm able to do this. And he's like, listen, if you get an A on your, final, on your finals, I will get you ten tennis balls. I'll get you ten tubes of tennis balls. He's like, wow, Dad, really, you do that? He said, yeah, but you have to get a 100 on it. And he said, Okay, Dad, I'll do it. Bam, he gets it, and he puts his tennis balls right next to him, right next to his bed. And bam, he's got he's got his tennis balls in 8th grade and ninth grade because he did so well. And then the summer go comes, around, comes along. He's uh, still doing his soccer thing, him and his girl. You know, everything's going well. Things are going great. And then, you know, they're still talking together. He gets done his... Uh, he gets done like midway through his uh, 10th grade year. His girlfriend breaks up with him. And he says, you know, Dad, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think high school is right for me. I, I think I want to drop out. He said, his dad's like, what are you, are you kidding me? You're halfway, you're halfway done high school. You're in 10th grade. Listen, listen. If you pass your finals in 10th grade, I will get you. 25 tennis balls. 25 pink tennis balls. He's like, wow, Dad, are you kidding me? So his dad calls up the people who manufacture the pink tennis balls and says, hey, can I get an order of tw uh, 25 tennis, uh, tubes of tennis balls? And he gets it to him. And when he comes home after doing great on his final, he sees a bin full of pink tennis balls. And this is when he starts opening them and just putting them in the bin and something like that, he puts it in, uh, he just puts them all in a bin, and he puts it in his room, in his closet, that's where he puts it. And then, you know, 11th grade comes around, he's, um, uh, you know, he can, he was continuing doing his soccer camp, stuff like that. Uh, he, he gets to his, um, uh, midterms, and his midterms were, like, so much more difficult than... It was years prior. He's like, Dad, you know what? Man, th these midterms, man, they're getting me. They're uh, the eleventh grade's tough. I I don't think I'm ready for it. He's like, you know what? You do good on your midterms. I'll get you fifty pink tennis balls. And he's like, Wow, Dad, really? You'll do that? Fifty? Fifty? He's like, Oh yeah, definitely, I'll do it. He does great on his midterm, and bam, fifty pink tennis balls just for him, just for him. And he puts it in his bin with his other ones. 
and he's got a lot of tennis balls and stuff like that. And then his finals come along. He he was doing. He still got A's and B's, but there was some came along. He's just like I. I don't think I can do it. This is getting really tough. And his dad's like, "Listen, I will get you 100, 100 pink tennis balls if you can do great on your finals." Bam! He does it. He gets 100 pink tennis balls. Unfortunately, the bin is too big, so he puts them all in his closet. He puts all his pink tennis balls in his closet. His senior year comes around. He is doing great with everything, you know. A's, he's like, he's the class president. He's uh, going to be the valedictorian. He's just doing fantastic. He's a, everybody's excited about him and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, he's he's having trouble with his having trouble with his finals. For some reason, he just cannot get motivated for his finals. And his dad said, "You know what? I will get you two hundred pink tennis balls. Two hundred pink tennis balls if you can do fantastic on your finals." And he does it. And he does it. He nails it. He graduates. He's doing fantastic in school. Oh, he's like, he's on cloud nine. He's got 200 more tennis balls. Unfortunately, his class is getting too big. His dad's like, you know what? I got it. I will get you a, a, a storage, a storage bin just for your pink tennis balls. And he's like, you know what? I'll pay, I'll pay the first, I'll pay the first month. And he does, he does. He pays the first month. And then, you know, the kid... He can't do the soccer camp anymore because he's too old, but he goes back and helps other kids out. So, you know, it's his, he's, it's his freshman year of college. He goes in. He's like, you know, I'm I'm ready for college. You know, I did great in high school. I'm ready for college. But, like always, he has a little trouble. And um, these midterms are really getting to him. Those midterms are just, like, driving him crazy. And his dad's like, you know what? I will pay a year, a year, the year for your for your storage, and 300 pink tennis balls. He's like, "Wow, Dad, you're really gonna do that for me? Really?" He's like, "You deserve it. Of course, I'll do it for you." And he does it for him. He does it for him. He's got 300 more pink tennis balls, and his dad pays his storage. Finals come along. He's still, you know, he's he's still doing great. You know, his grades started to slip a little bit to like the B's and C's. His A's weren't really going up. He's like, Dad, I, I haven't been getting A's. I need to get an A on this. Uh, Finally, really bumped me up. He's like, you know, I told you. Every A you get, you get pink tennis balls. So, I'll, since you're slipping, your grades are slipping, I will give you 350 pink tennis balls if you can get an A on your final. And he's like, you know what, I'll do that. And he does it. He gets... He gets 350 pink tennis balls for his final. And he's ecstatic. He's happy about it. But unfortunately, the storage is his small storage. His dad decides to get him a double wide storage because it's getting too cramped in there with the tennis balls. There's just too many tennis balls in there. And then, and you know, he goes into his sophomore year of college. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I, I finished my freshman year of college off with a bang. I got a hundred on all. I got A's, hundreds, whatever the hell he got. He did great on his finals. And, you know, his midterms were perfectly fine. He was doing great on midterms also. And then his finals come along. He's like, oh, my gosh, this is getting so tough. This is tough. I have to really work harder now. Because his grades started to slip once again. But his dad's like, you know what? 400 pink tennis balls. If you get if you get an A on this final, and he's like, you know what, Dad? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I really can do this. I'll do it. And he gets A's on his final, and then oh, he's doing fantastic. And eventually, he's eventually he transferred to another college, and he decided to move somewhere else. He moved out. To, I don't know, he moved somewhere else to go to college, but he always had his pink tennis balls there. 
you know, he was doing good in school, stuff like that, and then his, uh, he had, he's still, like, so for some reason, this guy, this kid's finals are tough for him, and he's, he's a bright kid, but he needs motivation, and then, you know, his dad said, you know, I know you're living far away and all, but, you know, I'll, I'll still, I'll still get you, uh, I'll get you 500 pink tennis balls if you get A on your final. He's like, really, 500? Are you sure about that? He's like, of course, of course, I still, I'm still paying off that, uh, I'll still pay another year on your, on your storage, because I still have the pink tennis balls. He's like, okay, I'll do that. And he said, you know what, son? I think you should come back and visit your family. You know, just visit them and see how they're doing. And he's like, okay, dad, that sounds, sounds great. Um, while they're waiting for his son to come back home, uh, the dad and the mom go into the storage and get uh, a couple pink tennis balls to play tennis with. You know, a couple hours they were just like playing tennis, you know, serving, having a couple games. I think the dad won a few, the mom won a few. Um, you know, they were just having fun. And, eventually, and then uh, some got muddy, so the dad's like, I gotta clean these off because he got these in mint condition. You know, they smell like fresh tennis balls. So he's like, you know, I gotta clean these off really fast. And he cleans them off, and then... He puts them back in the storage, like, but like they, like they were, like they were, they were in there, and then eventually the sun comes back. Um, they go out to eat. They go to a, di they go to like a, I don't know, somewhere to eat, like a big like Applebee's or something like that. They go out to eat. They catch up because it's been like uh, a year since they saw each other. They just want to see how they were doing and stuff like that. And his dad was like. Yeah, your storage. I still have all your pink tennis balls. He's like, he's like, thanks, Dad. You know, I I really appreciate for getting me so many pink tennis balls. And then um, they drove separate cars here, so they were going to uh, drive back to the parents' house to have like a uh, dessert, like uh, a welcome home cake or something like that. And then while the kid was, um, the dad was about to ask him. Um, he was thinking he was. While well, someone's crossing, he's like, "Hey, son, um, I gotta ask you a question." And he said, well, "Sure, sure. What is it, Dad?" And then all of a sudden, bam! Son is in the middle of the road. He gets hit by a truck, and he's on the ground. He's he's in a lot of pain. He doesn't know if he's gonna make it. And his dad's like, "Oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you? I'm so sorry." He's like, "Dad, it's okay. It's okay. I, I'm really banged up. I think my leg's broken. I think I broke a couple ribs. I, I don't think I'm gonna make it, Dad." And he's like. You know, we gotta take him to the hospital. We gotta take him to the hospital. And they took him to the hospital. And then, you know, he's, you know, he's he's still pretty banged up. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's like, oh, Dad, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm just, I just don't think I'm gonna make it. And he's like, don't talk to that. Um, I will get you like um, a thousand pink tennis balls just to make sure you're okay or something like that. And he's like, oh, Dad, that's, that's. Are you sure? He's like, yeah. But there's one question I had to ask you. He's like, any anything. Uh, he's like, anything, Dad. What is it? And his dad said, after all these years, from eighth grade to your to your third year in college, this is always stuck in my mind. It's always been bugging me. But why, pink tennis balls? And Tim says, well. That it, it's because he dies.